Here we go again. Marcus Rashford has been linked with a move away from Manchester United this summer, with a number of clubs said to be interested in signing the England international. There are four clubs Marcus Rashford could join with Man United set to green light transfer exits. Manchester United are willing to sell Marcus Rashford this summer, following his disappointing campaign. Rashford scored just eight goals in 43 appearances last season and missed out on a spot in England's Euro 2024 squad as a result with Gareth Southgate deciding to pick players who were in better form, and it seems Rashford could be set to leave Old Trafford, with the club open to selling all but seven stars this summer. Andre Onana, Diogo Dalo, Lisandro Martinez, Kabi Mainu, Alejandro Garnacho, Ahmad Diallo and Rasmus Hodgland have all been ring-fenced by the club, with Rashford not among them. Reports have claimed the 26-year-old is keen to stay at Old Trafford and wants to fight for his place, but perhaps a fresh star could be the best option for both parties. Here, Mirror Football takes a look at four clubs Rashford could join. So, there is Arsenal interest. Arsenal have also been linked with a shock swoop for Rashford, with manager Mikel Arteta keen to bolster his forward options. Kai Havertz has enjoyed a new lease of life at the Emirates since joining from Chelsea, and it has been suggested a move to Arsenal could have a similar effect on Rashford. It would be a huge surprise if United were willing to sell to a Premier League rival, but a big offer could tempt them. The Premier League's Profit and Sustainability Rules (PSR) are limiting United's spending power this summer, and the potential sale of Rashford could free up plenty of funds. Meanwhile, another team interested on Rashford is PSG. Rashford has been repeatedly linked with a move to PSG as a potential replacement for Kylian Mbappe, who has joined Real Madrid on a free transfer. They are said to be eyeing a big-name replacement for Mbappe, and Rashford would fit the bill. PSG president Nasser al khalifi has previously spoken highly of the forward, branding him really amazing. Every club would run after him definitely, al khalifi said of Rashford in December 2022. We're not hiding it. We spoke before and interest. But the moment was not a good moment for both sides. On the other side, Tottenham interested on Rashford. According to reports from Spain, Tottenham are also interested in signing Rashford, with manager Ange Postacoglu looking to build on a promising first season in charge. Spurs have already secured the return of Timo Werner on loan, but are said to be looking at strengthening their attack further. And Rashford would fit the bill, given his ability to play both out wide and through the middle. Postacoglo's attacking style could help get the best out of Rashford, but it remains to be seen whether United would be willing to sell him to another Premier League club. Elsewhere, Bayern Munich interested on him. It has also been claimed that Bayern are also considering a move for Rashford amid doubts over the future of Leroy Sane. Sane's current contract is due to expire in 2025, and it is claimed Rashford has been lined up as a potential replacement. A move to Bayern would see Rashford join up with new manager Vincent Kompany, who has spoken highly of him in the past. In other news, Manchester United have reportedly hired a Swiss lawyer to help bring Jean-Claire Todibo to Old Trafford from Nice. UEFA rules have blocked United's pursuit of the Nice defender Todibo as the club's owners Ineos also own the French outfit. Ratcliffe has already been handed a favor from the governing body by allowing both clubs to compete in the Europa League next season. However, the transfer between two clubs under the same ownership has strictly been blocked. But now Ratcliffe has hired a Swiss lawyer to plead before the Court of Arbitration for Sport, according to Belgian journalist Sasha Meanwhile. Manchester United's pursuit of Jared Branthwaite might just have got a little easier. Everton are keen to raise funds through transfer sales, but Newcastle have reportedly dropped their summer interest in Toffee's striker, Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Sky Sports say the tune have balked at his 40 million asking price. It all means the Red Devils' path to signing England defender Branthwaite could now be a tad smoother. The 21-year-old has already reportedly agreed personal terms with Old Trafford Chiefs. But Everton want more than 70 millions of pounds for the giant centre-back, who has yet to break into the three Lions' side at Euro 2024. On the other side, Harry Maguire is among four Manchester United players set to be offered contract extensions this summer, according to reports. Co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has prioritised new signings ahead of next season, 
but he mustn't forget about stars United are keen to keep. There is a one-year extension option in Maguire's current contract, which would tie him to the club until 2026. Scott McTominay, who is also out of contract next summer, is in line for an extension after bagging seven Premier League goals this season. United would trigger the extensions in the deals of both players if they are still at the club in September as they retain high resale value. United accepted a 30 millions of pounds offer for Maguire from West Ham last year and rejected a separate bid from the club for McTominay. Interest in Bruno Fernandes could lead to an improved contract for the United captain, despite his current deal running on until 2027. Bayern Munich reportedly approached United and Fernandes's agent Miguel Pino regarding a potential move. United's FA Cup victory and subsequent qualification for the Europa League have decreased the chances of Fernandes leaving. Ahmad Diallo is also set for a new extension, according to Manchester Evening News. The 21-year-old's standing has risen and he is about to enter the final year of his contract. United have a plus-one option to retain Ahmad, who scored the club's winning goal against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarter-final until 2026. Victor Lindelof, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Christian Eriksen and Hannibal Mabry are out of contract next year. Lindelof, Wan-Bissaka and Mabry are available for transfer, and United would be open to offers for Eriksen after his minor role last season. Forgotten man Donny van de Beek will be released next summer if he is not permanently sold in the summer window. In other news, Jermaine Defoe reckons Kabi Mainu will start for a more positive England side against Slovakia in the last 16. Manchester United midfielder Mainu, 19, came on to help the three Lions improve in a 0-0 draw with Slovenia. And ex-England striker Defoe hopes Gareth Southgate makes some exciting changes for his below-par group winners in the KO phase, with Cole Palmer and Anthony Gordon under consideration. The former Tottenham hero told PA, as reported by The Independent. I think Mainu will come into the team. He is someone who passes forward. I also felt Cole Palmer made a difference. How he has played with the season he had at Chelsea, he is someone that can just create something out of nothing. Then there is Gordon with his pace. When he came on, the first thing he did was knock the ball past the defender. Yes, the ball ran out of play, but by doing that, it just forces teams back a little bit. We have got lots of options, but it will just be interesting to see if Gareth will use these kind of players on the other side. Fabrizio Romano reveals Man United first summer agreement in final stages. There were reports of a breakthrough in Man United's attempts to secure a first summer deal. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is reportedly closing in on a new contract that will keep him in charge until the summer of 2027. Since he was named as permanent replacement to former Red Devils boss Ole Gunnar Solskjaer during the summer of 2022, the former Ajax head coach has led United to two major trophies during his first two seasons at Old Trafford. His first campaign ended with the Carabao Cup in the trophy cabinet after the Red Devils saw off Newcastle United in the final, and last season saw Ten Hag's side lift the FA Cup with an accomplished display against arch-rivals Manchester City in last month's final. Despite the latter of those victories, there were reports Ten Hag could be sacked at the end of the season after United were linked with moves for the likes of former Chelsea manager Graham Potter, England boss Gareth Southgate, and former Brighton and Hove Albion manager Roberto De Zerbi. Thomas Tuchel was also linked with the vacancy, and there were reports suggesting the former Bayern Munich manager held talks with Old Trafford Supremo, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. Speaking earlier this month after speculation over his future was brought to an end, the Red Devils boss dropped a major hint he was in discussions over a new deal to extend his time at Old Trafford. He told Dutch television station NOS, The club management came to me while I was on holiday in Ibiza. They suddenly showed up on my doorstep and told me they wanted to continue with me. Manchester United have told me that they spoke with Tuchel, but they eventually came to the conclusion that they already have the best manager. Ineos took their time. They are new in football. It's normal to reflect on the season. It's no secret that they talked with multiple candidates. Manchester United and I still have to find an agreement for the new contract. This isn't easily done. We are still going to have to talk about this. Talks over a new contract have reportedly been ongoing in recent weeks, 
as the 13-time Premier League champions look to hand Ten Hag a two-year extension that would see the former Ajax boss earn around 27 millions of pounds over the course of the agreement. There are also reports suggesting Ten Hag's backroom staff will be given a refresh with former United striker Ruud van Nistelrooy heading back to Old Trafford after he rejected an opportunity to join Manchester City legend Vincent Kompany at Bundesliga giants Bayern Munich. Journalist Fabrizio Romano has now claimed the discussions over Ten Hag's deal has entered its final stages and revealed the Dutchman's agents are ready to finalize their client's new contract. He posted on X, formerly Twitter, that Eric Ten Hag set to sign new contract at Manchester United as deal is now almost agreed. Contacts advancing to final stages this week with his agents to finalize terms. There will be changes in the staff with Ruud van Nistelrooy as strong candidate, as revealed. United will get Ten Hag's third season in charge underway when they face City in the Community Shield at Wembley on Saturday, August 10th, before their Premier League campaign kicks off with a home game against Fulham six days later.